There is nothing like going on stage and making 10, 20, 100, 300 people die laughing. And I don't get any more pleasure from anything else in the world. Whenever you start a career and you choose that career and you do that career for 20 years, there's things in your life that happened earlier that are going to feed into that, even though they don't have, from the outside, people can't see the direct uh, correlation. I know what the correlation is. I worked on B1s, you know, as electronics. That sounds really good, you know. The closest I'm getting to electronics now is testing my mic out when I get on stage. He had to grow up without a father. And that's not a good thing, but it's not a bad thing sometimes. Sometimes people want to use the crutch and say, well, you know, I grew up in a broken home and that's why I'm robbing the stores and that's why I'm, you know, the, the world owes me a living. Well, Brian's never believed that the world owes him a living. He, he believes in going out, making people laugh. And I think the, the structure in the military where it's helped him the most has been to persevere, whether it's been stocking groceries a couple of years ago when things were a little bit tough. I got out, I thought I had it made. I went looking for jobs. I said, what kind of experience do you have? I worked on B1 bonds. I said, okay, all right. Here's what you can do at our corporation, pay attention. When this buzzer goes off, you're going to pull these fries up out of the grease right here. Just like that. <laughs> Shake them off. You know, whether it's that one person or the two or three thousand people, he worked that little canned good stacking job at a store for absolutely the lowest minimum wage so he could go out and make people laugh. And it takes someone with a lot of heart and a lot of guts to do that. And I'm proud of him for doing it. The experiences I went through really were with the other Air Force people around me and that built my character too, you know, and it built uh, a lot of trust of, of uh, other people, which when you go through a divorce situation as a young child, I think the one thing that's ripped away from you is trust, especially of other human beings, because when a parent leaves you, that's worse than anything else in the world. The best thing you can do is about, as a comedian or as a writer is talk or write what you know or what your experiences are. So what did I know when I started doing comedy? Well, I'd just been out of the military about maybe two, three years when I started doing comedy. Every branch has their own credo. Uh, Army strong, that's the new one. Um, Marine, simplify. Then uh, Navy, no diving. <laughs> the radio show is an outlet for me. It's a platform for me. You have to have something more than just being a comic sometimes. Until you get big time notice, you know, you've got to do several things to get notice. They've given me so much, the military, you know, just, I think I got a lot out of it. And I'm still continuing to get a lot out of it. I'm getting more out of it, I think, than I've put in, to be honest with you. Because I feel anything I can do to help the people that protect this country, I will. Anything that I can do to help the folks that are putting their lives on the line, more than I ever did. I mean, that's the serious part of why I give back. You know, God bless you for what you do, and we really do respect each and every one of you and pray that you always come back safe.